Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to you all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe, Vibe, you know uh please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated and i'm actually doing my tarot card readings y'all ain't did it like for a couple of months i told i think i told y'all a couple of days ago i said i'm gonna start going back and doing them again so i went ahead and did one for general collective um this one is going to be for scorpio i'm gonna go ahead and do scorpio first um oh yes and uh anybody who's thinking about putting hitting in 10 on me I, I ain't got time for all that mess you know it's just like 10 times i'm sending it back turning it back to send it 10 times fault and you know except mine's gonna be with loving blessings and healing okay all right for scorpio what the universe what does scorpio needs to know today please let me know let me know let me know okay i was i did it the other way and i mean that mess was so weird because they wanted me to you know have them already flipped over i don't do it like that <laughs> i just don't and it was just different, but I said I'm gonna go ahead and do it like you know, hey, do it like universe wanted me to do it. But uh this way is more uh comfortable for me. So I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> it was like well I knew what I was doing when I was being guided, but this is more comfortable for me because this is the routine that I usually take. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Enchantment and upright intentions. Let's the last in general collective. I got that too. And blessings. Okay. And flip another one over. Your body care. Okay. Um, your enchantment. Believe in your magic. You know, believe in how you can see things. You know, sometimes we gotta look at things th through the love of the eye of a child. You know, children don't um aren't really in, in scared of fear unless it's being taught to them you know because a lot of times you'll see them go walk out on a balcony or go touch a daggone hot stove you know until you're like hey 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 don't do that you know until it's taught to them but it's like you have to be true on your intentions and knowing your blessings are coming you know being able to take care of your body you know we're going through a lot of healing right now you know 99 portal you know it's just like uh it's ending cycles new beginnings is taking place and stuff like that so it's just like your your intentions have to be set, you know, and being able to understand that because it's like so many different things is coming on. You know, you might be able to uh, try to make sure y'all can be able to see it because it's like um, I don't want nobody thinking I'm fixing cards and stuff like that. I don't play stuff like that. But um, but yeah, you know, being able to do that. Um, you have been taken up on your studies and we, maybe something that you you have been working on and I guess it's just that you haven't been trusting it it really hasn't been working the way you thought it would so they're telling you to go back at it and obviously that it, it's just like a real big ringing in my ear so obviously I must be dead on that yep and you know your support is there you know because obviously it's just something that you've been working on and it just hasn't been working out for you and they're telling you don't give up on that a lot of times that big beautiful things come in and big blessings um when it is during the roughest time you know um uh you can be going through different things and uh a lot of times when it's not really working out the way you thought it would you know you be quick to want to give up on things and they're telling you not to do that go back and do go back on it like they're telling you to you know it's like listen to your listen to your intuitive you know your gut feelings telling you hey you know don't give up on this just yet you know the iron you know you haven't struck where the iron is hot yet so it's telling you just wait you know just go ahead and keep going don't give up on, on it just yet. You know, I used to be a type of person. I'd be quick to give up on different things. And um, not knowing I, I could really been skipping out on some big blessings just because I haven't done that. And I've been doing this for like six years. And I mean, it's like really hasn't been spotting off on me. 
even though I know I've had different things that's you know been trying to block me on that but I know I've been I really love what I do you know I've been helping a lot of people with what I've do, been doing I've been helping myself out I've been seeing a lot of different perspectives even when I feel like I should be getting like a lot more views and a lot more subscribers but I love what I do you know there'll be different times I just have to take a pause for the cause and I tell people that but I love I really love being able to help other people and it's been really been helping me as well so it's just like your serenity you know being peace with that they're telling me to go in, into the book for that one um you know being able to get your peace you know you really really need that um let me see you now being able to know you know what you what you truly want it's like the lighting sucks in here sorry y'all okay uh, you are moving into uh, a time of uh, greater, what is this, greater inner um, inner peace. Yeah, it's this tranquility. It's like your peace of mind means the feeling of uh, feeling secure. It's like basically what I was saying. You haven't really been feeling like these things has been taken off. It's like knowing that you are always provided uh, for, even if, uh, even if your logical mind uh, cannot fathom. How the uh, how a challenge uh, could be resolved? Peace in mind uh, means that you must trust in God. Yeah, it's true. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to trust in God when so many different things are going but backwards. So they're just telling you, you know, go ahead and go back to whatever it is you were working on. If you've been looking for a sign, this is the sign. Okay. Um, being able to go through meditation, your meditation is going to bring you so many different things that you really need to know about. Um that you need to know about yourself especially right now if you've been doing a lot of clearing this is that time where you really need to get back into it you know this is like something's going to open up a whole new door for you that you weren't ready for yet but it'll be different times when you when you're allowing yourself to not give up because a lot of times the devil wants you to be able to give up on different things when stuff is like not moving fast enough it is or you're not getting enough uh spotlight for it or you're not getting enough you know feedback for it and it's telling you don't give up on things like that yeah a lot of times you're doing that when you finding out hidden gems about yourself and you you know whatever you're doing is in a hidden gem so they're telling you don't give up on that yet what I said take, take it on the signs there'll be different signs that's telling you that it's not time to give up on whatever it is you're doing yet don't give up just yet because it could be something that you're going through right now and then it's just like I know what me when I was going through, you know, going through the different things I was going through and I wanted to give up so many times and it was just like, I didn't know where, the, what, you know, me doing my videos on, on me being on a, a social platform was going to get me. And it's just like, I found out so many different spiritual hats about myself. And then it was just like, uh, you know, with some of my friends, you know, they bought me tarot cards and it was like, Rosalind, you know, so many different things. You should do tarot card readings. And I was like, man, I want to do stuff like that. And it was just like, it drains me so quick. But then it was like, when I started doing it, you know, I really love doing it. I, I love being able to do it. I sing. You know, I did a couple of um, different, you know, videos with me singing and stuff like that. It really put me out of my, my comfort zone where, you know, universe, especially, you know, my dad passed over. He really wanted me to always sing. And so it, it's just being able to show different parts of myself here. You know, I really love doing. I love podcasting and all those different things. So it's just like whatever you're do going through right now, you don't know what new door is going to open for you to find out about yourself. You know, there'll be different things that has not yet been revealed yet. So they're telling you to keep going. Don't you don't 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 you give up on yourself right now. You're manifesting. See, didn't I just say that? I said something about you. You don't know. It, it, it's like strike me the iron is hot. You're manifesting something, man. You know, whatever it is, you're manifesting something. And I feel like wh whatever you're manifesting, there's somebody who's going to come into with you that may be uh, like a cancer or a Sag. So I'm telling you, there, there may be somebody that you're, you know, you're dealing with and they've probably been giving you new ideas. I'm telling you, go ahead. Because if you have some good friends that actually want to see you win and they're giving you ideas, it's like when people used to ask me, Rosalind, you know, what, you know, I really want to do um, podcasting or I really want to do, um, you know, do videos like you do. What do you, you know, what do I do? And it's just like, okay, what's your concept is about? And then I tell them, I start giving them ideas. It's just like, because I want to see people win. I've had so many people that has been there supportive for me and they, they gave me new ideas, you know, cause they were like, Hey, you know, they're telling me you need a journal and I didn't want to journal too much. And next thing you know, I journal, I'll start finding all these new different things about myself. And then when I started doing, they were like, Hey, you know, um, I was, 
I was told to tell you you need a podcast. Next thing you know, I'm like, I don't know where my podcast at. Next thing you know, I went to Anchor app. And, you know, next thing you know, it, it's just like so many different things. When you have people, there's people out there, you know, surprisingly, they actually want to see you win. There are sometimes people see your true potential and stuff like that, and they get very um, intimidated by that, and they constantly send you towards the opposite direction because they'll see that you're doing something. Whatever you're doing is giving you freedom from whatever it is that's holding you back. Whatever it is that you have been going through that you're tired of going through is giving whatever what you're what you're being guided towards is going to give you freedom for whatever has been holding you back. Whatever you really been just like it's been sucking. It's really been sucking and trying to get that. And it's just like but you are not believing in it. And they're saying whatever you're doing you're not believing in it. And a lot of times the times get hard. They know that. And a lot of times when things are not moving the way it's supposed to we can lose hope in ourselves. And they're telling us not to do that. You know, so you have to be able to believe in yourself, having that integrity that you know whatever you're on your spot on, you're right there. But it's just the fact is you got to believe in yourself, and you got you got to be guided by your gut. You're intuitive. You're you're you know you got support in there from your you know from your guardian angels to let you know your prayers are being answered. But you just got to be able to see the signs. It's just like I was saying, you're manifesting something. It's just like you need to go meditate because the meditator is going to show you those different signs. You know, numbers. You know, different spirit totems and stuff like that. You know, and it's just like, but you have to have balance, you know, go out and, um, you know, take time to yourself, you know, journal, you know, a lot of times I tell people if you don't like to write, you know, if you got, um, like these different apps on your phone, you know, um, you can do like a voice thing where you can journal and just being able to seek balance within yourself, you know, don't take so much time out on business and you're not having a lot of time for pleasure or you're not doing something for personal or you're doing so much personal you're not doing enough time for business you have to be able to have time for that you know and just being able to have that complete balance you know be able to have a routine so it's just like in knowing your power you're in your power you you're in it right now but it's just like you may be all over the place right now because so many different things may maybe it, it might be hot cold one minute and it be cold the next hot minute and then it's cold the next. But they're telling you you're in your power, but you just got to get balance for it. And it's just, like I said, you got to take time. <laughs> you got to take time out for yourself. It's like retreat. You got to take that time out for yourself. You know, going to retreat. Take a couple of days for yourself, you know, because a lot of times if we're doing something for everybody else, you point at everybody else's cup and when you need for something for your cup, you're going to be parched. You ain't going to have anything in there. You're pouring for everybody else. You got to be able to make time for yourself, setting boundaries for you got to be able to take time for yourself. Then I say guardian angels are helping you. Guardian angels. There are so many guardian angels that are helping you right now. There are so many of them. You know, especially if you had like a parent that passed over and you've been seeing them a lot lately. You know, it may be a song or something that's coming up. Because from what I'm hearing, it's like a parent that passed over. And you may be hearing like a song or a different movie that y'all used to watch. Or different things like, um, I'm seeing like a little boy and um, their dad that went out, used to go hunting or something like that. Or they used to go uh, hiking or go river rafting and stuff like that. And they're telling you to remember those days. Remember those different times and knowing that I never left you. Even though I'm not here and it's like, oh, this is about to make me emotional. Whew. Okay, hold up. Um, it's like even though they're not no longer here in the physical, they're always still with you. Okay? So they're letting you to know letting you know that they're there with you and they're 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 leading you in that they're helping you in that, that direction. They're protecting you and believing in miracles. They're telling you to believe in that. And I just said that's crazy. I just said that. You know, believing in yourself. You know, you got so many miracles that's coming in. And it, whoever this parent is, this parent is coming in. And for what um, they're telling me, uh, what is it? Um, it's it's a Gemini. The the parent is a Gemini that came in, and they're like they used to be a go getter. You know, it's like anything they do, they used to you know, it's like a super pop. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like I'm super pop. They can do anything, and it was just like you know, building up on things. They're probably a carpenter or whatever like that, and it was just like they're telling you, you know, you can be able to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. You can do better. <laughs> I can do it. You can do it too. Okay, different things like that. But it's just like. But you, you probably have gone through a lot where you, you know, you either you need to have a friendship with yourself. And it was just saying that in a collective, you know, it may be um, a new uh, new love is trying to come in your life, like a soulmate. You know, this could be a friend or you probably have gone through so many trust issues. You know, it's hard for you to make friends. I, I Trust me, I, I'm, I'm there. You know, I've been there. 
you know um and it's hard to be able to trust friends or maybe it, it just be a friendship with yourself you know when you're going through that you know knowing that you have that freedom within that you know <clears throat> and you're studying your spiritual growth or whatever it is like i don't know how you're gonna be in your power probably because your balance your balance is off because your spiritual growth is trying to come in but maybe there be maybe different things that you may be focusing on it could be like your intentions you know you may be focusing on something that's no longer serving you you know and we can go through that you know so much music that's coming in it's like i don't know if the music has been coming into you and you and it's just like you know universe you know speaks through numbers people and music mainly a lot of times through music you know i get it a lot of times because i know it was like uh well i think i said it the other day when i was doing my videos where I was like, I felt so by myself. I was just so in a, in a, in a funk. And next thing you know, I was watching a TikTok video. And it was something funny that came on. And I can feel it was uh, being funny. And next thing you know, Michael Jackson's song came on, You're Not Alone. And that really bursted me out into tears. And, you know, that was something. And it was just like, whoever your parent was, they're saying, you know, there's so many different ideas. They're telling you about your ideas and your uh, uh, yeah, in inspiration. Your inspiration that's coming in and they want you to be able to understand that it's just like so many different things is coming in it's like your friendship is in the reverse your uh spiritual growth is in the reverse but it's not you know a lot of times you can hate hearing this stuff but it's just like i i would be like that when i used to hear tarot card readings but then it'll be just the things that i know i know i need to work on and that's just like your cheat sheet for being able to know that and it's just like your new beginnings is trying to come in but it's like you have to be able to take in your retreat and stuff like that that's coming on. But you're going through a healing. You know, for these new beginnings to come in, you're going through that healing. And that's going to be able to turn around. And it's like that new love is trying to come in. But they're birthed in reverse. And it may be because uh, your intentions are not set the way they need to be. And, well, no, yeah, that's the healing is taking place. So it's just like um, you're going through your, your, your study you're not going through your study that is in reverse you know and it's letting you know the support is there and it's like listen listen you know listen to your heart listen to your gut your intuitive is really trying to speak to you and they're just telling you these different things are really trying to come in you know just even when challenges are happening and it happens with us every day when we're dealing with a lot of challenges it's hard for us to be able to see the good when we're focused you know when we got surrounded by so much heartache pain frustration you know doubt whatever and they understand that but when you're going through meditation pay attention to the signs because you truly are manifesting something and it's breaking you from that freedom you know knowing believe in the magic you have but being able to set the intentions to know what your blessings are what you what do you want to have through that but it's just like you're, you're going through your body care you may be eating eating right working out exercising being active and all those different things but you know this being able to make sure you're placing your intentions on what they really truly need to be on and it's just like with your truth and integrity you know what you, what do you really want you know being able to place that balance into it being able to make sure you have your time for your your work study or whatever but making sure you have time for your personal as well you know being able to go through that retreat because it's just your power is there but you have to go through retreat you know to be able to do it you know take hiking walking you know even if it's going out in nature for a few hours you know if weather is permitting it because i know it's here in georgia it's, it's like today it's been rainy but it's been kind of warm or whatever because it's usually here it's kind of hot until like S september or october and then it starts getting cold again but you got miracles coming in it's like your guardian angels you know your, your whoever's father it passed on or it could be a father figure that passed on and they're bringing you know they're telling you you're manifesting so many miracles right now and your friendships is coming in you probably need to be more of a friend you know if you're not making friends with other people or you actually have good friends it's probably telling you to be a friend to yourself so you know you're going through this spiritual growth but you may not be focusing on your growth and you need to do that you know it's talking about through the meditation because they're pointing towards meditation through that you can go through the spiritual growth but listen to the music that you're hearing whether it could be on your way to work or it could be a certain song that's like stuck in your head 
you know and it's just like it's bringing so many you know different ideas and inspirations to you because you got new beginnings that's coming it really needs to do that but you're going through that healing and you'll know that but it's probably your you, you know where your intentions are it may not may not feel like you got new you know uh new beginnings is coming in there's a new love that's trying to come in too so all you gotta do is just get that straight you know and it's just like and you know don't don't allow yourself to get uh you know um you know uh what do they call it you know it, down on yourself when you see the reverse like that because to me i used to hate that but it was just always telling me this is the things where I know I need to work on where it's showing me basically that's the cheat sheet of where I'm going through my spiritual transition and that's where I try to see it as you're going through your spiritual transition and you know and being able to tell yourself hey I'm going through this stuff right here and I know where I need to have balance in my life really believe in myself and knowing I got the support and get back down on my studies you know I'm wanting my freedom in my life but I got to be able to make sure I pay my you know being able to have my my intention set on what I truly want and being able to move through that and it's like when you allow yourself to do that you know what you're speeding up your process for that that stuff to happen so i hope this was able to help um anybody who who's listening to this i would love to give a post notification shout out to lynn turner much love to you and welcome to the fam so if I, any of my new subscribers welcome thank you please drop a line um if you want a personal reading please go ahead and hit me up and we can go ahead and work that out so this is for Scorpio. So much love to you. You know, whatever is going on, you know, trust and believe better things is coming. You know, which it already is. It is coming. Miracles is coming to you. So, you know, being able to take this out is a cheat sheet for whatever you need to change and whatever you already got going on in, in the upright. Hey, you enhance that, you know, and take it full force. So much love to you. Peace.